welcome. It is time for some more dreaming and some more daddy. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I should probably fucking go and do. Uh, I'm not good at this. Goddamn. Is Twitch overlay? Okay. Twitch overlay is working. Wonderful. 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 Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to. Uh, Grace will be joining us momentarily. Sam is going to go CP seep. So. Tis just going to be me and Grace tonight. Elena, if Elena would like to participate as well. I'm going to. Oi. Ooh, religious trauma time. Hello, Raven. Hello. Yes. <laughs> we are here to unfortunately watch this. Hello, Gemma. Hi. Welcome. All right. We're gonna we're gonna continue, unfortunately, with this date. I got dads. But yes, Grace will be Grace will be joining us momentarily. Um, I'm gonna crack open a fucking. Not, I'm gonna crack open an Arizona tea real quick. I hope everyone is having a wonderful night. Um, fun fact today, I had enough mental energy and physical energy to clean my car. God damn. I'm so I'm so happy my car is clean. There is absolutely nothing that is out of place. It's so nice. Hello scenic. Welcome. And then I did I went to therapy and I went yes, big win, big win, big win. Um and I went to class and got laundry done. It's been great. Thank you guys. Hello Anna. Hi. It it has been a long time coming. My car has needed a fucking clean. Like, she's not, like, fully, fully, like, deep clean. Your girl still needs to do that. Woo! Yes! Woo! I am just a little tired. But I am ready for some dreaming and some daddies. <laughs> Oi! My bad. Okay. We go message. Hello, Grace believe that's grace or <laughs> never mind my bad oh wait nope there you are i can't hear you babes well i haven't said anything yet oh hi hi <laughs> we barely started i was telling chat that i had the mental and emo and like just like physical energy to clean my car today this yes this this week has been just a cleaning week for us because, okay, for those of you who don't know, I am severely mentally ill and I have a hard time cleaning my room. I'll clean the rest of my apartment, but my room, no. So this week, I finally, like, cleaned my room and got my shit together. And then Jen cleaned their car. So it's just like, oh yeah. Snaps. Oh, yeah. Snaps snaps look at us <laughs> snaps i'm proud of you grace her room is so cool it's so nice she's so comfy i gave her a dark ride card <laughs> and i hid it on her desk it's great <laughs> yeah i i get home from getting so on sunday jen came over we were hanging out right and I had gotten some tattoos that day so i wasn't home when elena and jen were hanging out and then i came home and I go to put on some comfy clothes because I was, like, in my outside clothes and I didn't want to be in my outside clothes anymore. Understandable. And so I go, I come walking into my room and Jen goes, it's time for your surprise. And I was like, <laughs> why are you emerging from the darkness behind me? <laughs> it is time. <laughs> and so get into my room and they're like, first one's on your bed. And I'm like, what the fuck is on my bed? And so I pick it up. It's a little frog. It's the cutest fucking thing ever. It's holding a little heart. Mm. And then uh, they go, now look at your desk. And I was like, I'm scared. What's going on? I look at my desk. It's a dark rye fucking card. <laughs> I'm going to make a dark rye body pillow specifically for you. <laughs> Please don't. 
Please don't. <laughs> also, Scenic said, I have ADD, so it's all or nothing with me. Hey, you know what? If whatever gets you to do whatever, that's all that matters. It's all right. And we are proud of you either way. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has their own limits and everyone paces themselves differently. Exactly. So even if it's as much as getting one water bottle out of your room, we're proud of you. You're doing great. Yes. But either everything gets done or nothing. And you know what? Some days it's just, you just can't get anything done and that's completely fine. And that is that is how life works. That's how, yeah. that is how I, the day goes. Yeah, I actually just got diagnosed with ADHD like a couple <laughs> days ago. So it's like right there with you, buddy. Yeah. I, I am so happy that you guys are doing everything you can every day to exist mainly which is a good thing and raven puts it perfectly we are proud of anyone anyone every anything anyone does as long as it's good and you put your whole heart into it exactly mm -hmm. exactly but now i believe it is time to pay a certain youth minister a visit mm. <laughs> uh just uh, it's been a long day of clipping coupons. Looks like there's a sale on brownie box on box brownie mix. Hmm. That reminds me. I wonder what Joseph's up to. We're associating brownies with him. No. Jesus. I'm upset. <laughs> we can't make brownies anymore. I've never been <laughs> diagnosed, but I've talked to a few people who are certified psychologists, and they are they all kind of picked it up. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's okay i it's all right understandable and you know like this episode of chris hansen now how to catch catch a nasty dream daddy <laughs> <laughs> but is he like going to get like i if you have the means to and you are curious and you want answers by all means please 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 go get a test if you want answers but the American healthcare system sucks. And uh, not everybody has the means to go get diagnosed. So if you do research, if you can, or if you have friends that are like, hey, these are my symptoms. And you kind of are similar in this aspect. And also I've noticed some things like, you know, you might have it. There's nothing wrong with being self-diagnosed in a way. Yeah, there are a lot of treatments for mental illnesses that are not medicine-based. Yeah. There are, um, like, meditation's a really great one. I'm not saying it's going to cure you of all your stuff, but it's a great place to ground yourself so you can start realizing exactly what affects you and what will help you in the future so you can take bigger steps. Exactly. Improving your health. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Real quick, Anna, I'm going to go get diagnosed Thursday, baby. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Another one to the to the ADHD gremlin core. <laughs> Let's go. We collected Pretty over sure. the... Huh? Pretty sure our entire D&D uh, &D group <laughs> <laughs> has ADHD. Oh, God. Understood. Understood. I am broke and have no insurance, so I'm living with questions. Well, understandable, Raven. And I don't care to put to two plus it doesn't change much if I did get it right. Understandable. And yeah. Raven said, my ferrets and mom are my therapist. Lol. Congrats, Anna. Aw. You know what? That works. That works. And I can function, so I feel like it doesn't make too much of a difference. But being diagnosed can be helpful for some things. Exactly. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. if you have found a routine that helps, then that's all that really needs to be done. If, if you don't want to, if you can't or don't need, feel like you need to go get diagnosed and you have a system that works for you, understandable. Mm hmm Um, and yes, we love that for Raven, yes. Uh, I just don't want to associate Joseph with brownies anymore. I associate him with prunes. I feel like he likes prunes unironically. He definitely does. <laughs> no offense to any prune likers out there. 
all offense to every no. Come on, not and not every single old person is a bad person. <laughs> they like prunes. Ooh, Bing. <laughs> funny because I'm at another one of my friends' gigs right now. Steps stepped away for a bit as I've been listening to them sing for the past two and a half hours. Is it Jackie again? If, if anyone has not heard what Jackie's song in the Discord, it's so good. There's I a song in the yeah. Discord? Yeah, no. yeah, Santa or Scenic's friend Jackie was the one that was playing. Let's go! She put out her first single on, I think, Spotify. If it, if I'm correct, it's so fu- it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> I, I I love it. <laughs> and she's singing with a friend of mine right now. Ah, yay! Excited. Put more of her songs in the Discord. Put more of her songs. Um. Yes. I should see if he wants to hang out. No. No, we shouldn't see if he wants to hang out. Or if he wants to go to the store with me and use the coupons. Looks like he's online. His name is Devin and he's a good singer too. <clears throat> it's just the name Devin. I know, but literally... <laughs> I've got a friend named Gavin and now someone named Devin. And it's funny because all of my relatives on my birth giver's side consistently say Devin instead of Davin. <laughs> and and we just haven't corrected them because it's just like, that's okay. It's all right. Like I've written it the right way and everything on cards, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't correct it. And he's like, yeah, I don't correct it at this point. I've been called so many things and it's okay. <laughs> and I'm like, understandable. Oh, no, that's c- incorrect. There we go. Hey, Joseph, want to hang? Uh, it takes a moment for Joseph to respond. He's just busy. <sighs> Goddamn, I can link her song in the chat. Please do do it. Yes. Levi, hope you're finally recovering from your brownie induced coma. And I know I promised you a fun hang, but tonight I'm actually chaperoning a youth group mixer. Men is invited, of course. If you're not doing anything, you should come. Why does everything involve church? Please. I want to go fishing or literally anything else. It's a youth minister, Jen. What do you expect? Him to have some form of a social life. Children. Yeah. <sighs> exactly. No. Oh, that sounds nice. No, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. And be a chaperone with me because I need the help. There it is. Mm-hmm. Less nice. I think for a moment. I'm a little bummed out, of course. I suppose I just wanted some me and Joseph time. Maybe to get to know him a little better. Ah, what the heck. My friend needs my help. I type back. Buddy, if you need me, you got me. Just tell me where I, where I need to be tonight. Joseph lets me know the details. It starts pretty soon. I should get ready. I knock on Amanda's door and peek in. Hey, Amanda. I'm about to head out. Where are you off to? Are you going to go... Are you going to go extreme couponing? Mm. Hey! <laughs> this is a deal on Pokemon cards. Don't let me... Don't, don't talk to me. Fun fact that happened this weekend. So, like I said, I was hanging out with Grace and Elena on Sunday after I got back from my grandparents. Um, um, we ended up going and, um, feeding into my Pokemon card, uh, hyperfixation. Um, we got, we got some Pokemon card packs. Um, I think I had mentioned to you guys that I managed to pull a Radiant Charizard out of some, uh, Crown Zenith packs a couple weeks ago. Uh, Grace pulled another one. Mm Mm-hmm. I have two now. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and I just that just reminded me. And before anybody asks, yes, at some point when my tax return comes in, I will be getting another booster box and I will be getting a camera and we will be doing an opening live. Before anybody asks me any questions, yes, we will. Uh, yes, and I know, I know, I have nothing against religion, but it is really annoying people. It, it, it is really annoying people that have 
being their being religion as their whole personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Take your time, love. Thank you. I will. I'm actually going to go chaperone this youth mixer dance thing that's happening at Joseph's church. He says you're invited, but if you don't want to come, I'll cover for you. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm down. Maybe I can make some new friends. That's a good attitude. But I'll have you know that I'm mostly doing this for the potential of free food. That's my girl. I taught you well. (laughs) Thank you, Amanda. You get four daughter points today. Can I trade them in for a daughter lava lamp? Sorry, you only have enough for a daughter spider ring. Or some... Oh, I can't see. She's going to burn when... She's going to burn when they get in there, lol. No. (laughs) (laughs) Or some of those daughter plastic jumpy frogs. I like those things. They try their hardest. It's inspirational. I love those plastic jumping frogs. They are doing their fucking best. (laughs) We arrive at the church to find... Nobody's there. There are decorations and balloons and banners and everything. But no youths. Hmm. I've been to a couple dances in my life. And not that I like to paint myself as some sort of dance expert. But generally dances require people. I used to get the plastic frogs as a kid. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I I love them. They're so cute. Jesus is coming indeed. No. <laughs> <laughs> they spelt it that way. I I really can't. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Jen, if you're talking right now, I cannot hear you. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Can you not hear me now, or what? I heard the oh, no. Okay. That that made Jack smirk when he looked at the sign. Why? No! This is bad! I know English only goes up to the first grade in usually private Christian schools, but come on. (laughs) And those people need to be dancing. Now he's doing the dad's slow head shake lol. (laughs) All of a sudden, Joseph jogs up to us. He looks frazzled. You're here. Mm. I need your help. (laughs) Ayo, there's Gemma. Joseph gestures to the hand-painted banner hanging above the church doors. It reads, Jesus is coming. Mm. (laughs) I am in pain! (laughs) Yeah, he sure is coming. Yikes. One way or another. Well, that's certainly a thing. God made all things, Amanda. And he made you. And you made that. <laughs> the creation of God. God or like God's creation. Creation of man. <laughs> oh, there's supposed to be another M. No! Xenix saw <laughs> Coming. Now it's fixed. God damn it. Except for the banner. Ernest made that. Ernest, my boy! And made me down horrendously. (laughs) Ernest! Ernest, where is he? I gotta dab him up. I gotta dab him up. Where is he? This shit's funny. That poor kid. I... I genuinely can't tell if he meant that maliciously or if he just can't spell good. He did an Ernest (laughs) job. Oh, no. Oh. You know what God also does? Forgive. Okay, we get it. I understand. Yep, God. Yep. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. 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 I know. You love Sky Daddy. We get it. I promise. Sky Daddy fills your head every night with wonderful dreams. We get it. I understand. You're just upset that he can't fill you as good as you tried to fill your wife. Anyways. (laughs) I mean, forgiveness forgives for coming too early. (laughs) Terrible. Oh. 
He forgives teenagers and he never ever breaks their box mods. Are you going to break Ernest's box mod? Looks handmade. Ernest did a great hand job. <laughs> no. Fifty years <laughs> off from that. Vape. Oh no, not vape. <laughs> oh god. No, Amanda. That would be a sin. And that ascot is not a sin. Come on. Fred from Scooby Doo would be upset with you. You don't even have an ascot. You just have a sweater over there. Wearing sweater vest. You're not even wearing it. It's not even a fucking sweater vest. It's unfortunate. I think it's the one right after Sloth. He forgives teenagers for giving hand jobs at the dance. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Levi, I need your help getting this down before anyone sees it. I think that might bring more people in, in my in my humble little opinion. I think people will think it's funny. I can swing mm. that. Amanda, can you help? Physical labor. Huh. Mm. Amanda begins rapidly scanning the mostly empty room, looking for an escape route of her own. The speakers really speak to me. God damn it. This one's screaming. Why are he screaming? <laughs> I have to go set up the food. The food's already set up. I'm going to do a final inspection pass on the food to make sure it's up to code. I'm gonna eat your food. Amanda, ab <laughs> Amanda's able to bolt away before myself or Joseph can get another word in. Phew. She can really book it when she wants to. Her father was a giant pair of legs. I dated some giant arms once, but it turned out they were all... I can't see it. Joseph, stop talking to underage girls without consent. Yep, Joseph, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Six mm -hmm. feet. Six feet. Six feet. Oh, wait. But they were all... It turned out they were all right. You must have been devastated. It was Armageddon. <sighs> it's not funny when you do it, Joseph. <laughs> no, it's... I get it. I'll workshop it. There's a gem in there somewhere. There isn't. Bible length. It's Bible's length, damn it. <laughs> hey. I'm really glad you're here, Levi. I'm not... <laughs> Isn't he like a pastor teaching ch things to children? Isn't he like a pastor teaching things to children is a specialty? Mm -hmm. He has a very punchable face. I'm just soaking myself now. No, just, no, no, scenic, don't. It's okay. Are you enjoying my company or did you just lure me out here with my strong arms and height advantage? A little of oh. both. <laughs> Grace knows. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm glad we came. Can we go home now? <laughs> No one likes Joseph. I'll always... Or it's, al this is some it's always something with you, Joseph. It's just gonna get worse. It's okay. Something handsome and pious? You're not that pious. Debatable. He is that pious. Yeah. It's a hidden ditch situation. <laughs> yeah. You just alluded to breaking a child's vape pen. I would have lost the debate. You ready to do this? Let's make some magic happen. No, 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 no. In fact, no. Magic isn't real, Levi. God said that. I understand. I get it. I understand. I fully, wholeheartedly understand. Mommy and Daddy did not let you watch Disney because, oh my God, magic is the devil and happiness isn't real. We get it. <sighs> Joseph is annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> Magic is against the Bible code. God was the also... Co what? The code? The code. God was also a bush one time. True. Joseph and I grab a stepladder and walk over to Ernest's banner. banner. Uh, that turd Ernest had one final trick but sleep. Looks like... I can't read. Veggie Tales was his entire childhood. <laughs> Looks like this nightmare is stapled and taped six ways from Sunday. Any ideas? 
What happened to your strong arms and height advantage? Ah, right. I forgot about those. They have a secret code. I love Veggie Tales, bro. Don't do it. Don't do Larry like that. <laughs> Not like the only, the only episode or movie or whatever of Veggie Tales I remember is when they were cowboys and you know like the three peas were cowboys yeah. and they were lost in a desert of some sort that's all i remember cowboys i think we want to do a bible story no cowboys yeah. i thought larry was funny uh, the the tomato his stare he stares into your soul Mm -hmm. he's got every episode memorized he does he does and i can sing most of the larry songs so can my mom <gasps> the hairbrush song the hairbrush song <laughs> that's all i remember oh my gosh i have to burp uh okay but i realize my oversized dad fingers are far too large to get leverage on the tiny staples Oh no, guess he has to get his dainty little baby girl arms under there and just yeah. This screams like baby girl, but not in the best way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barbara Manatee is my mom's favorite. Oh, that's a good one. You got a hammer I can use to pry these off? <laughs> Levi, this is a church. We get a little nervous around hammers. Why? Oh my god. Why? They're hammers. Jen. What? Jesus was nailed to a cross. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Homie. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Please tell me, Cena, can you clip that? <laughs> <laughs> really nailed the joke there. God damn it. <laughs> 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 I love how confused you were. God. Why? They're just family. <laughs> <Get you. laughs> oh, it's fine. I understand now. And nails. There it is. I would have gotten it then. <laughs> I'm kidding. We just don't have a hammer. Oh. We have to hurry. The youths will be here at any moment, and I'll never hear the end of it if we don't fix this. Wait, I have an idea. I run to grab the marker that Ernest used to draw this thing and jump back onto the ladder. Clipped and posted, thank you. <laughs> we can't get it down, but we can send a different message. I only got one shot here. Let's do this right. Uh, which one? Jesus is calming. Jesus is calming. Mm -hmm. I'm able to turn the U into an A and then an, an L. Somehow, it's a little tight, but it works. Come in. <laughs> I wish. Well, that's true, I guess. Bask in his calming presence, Joseph. Relax. Crisis averted. <laughs> Let's just hope the youths don't notice. Joseph checks his watch. Hmm. The DJ should be here by now. Please. Please. Just I swear. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god. It's <laughs> The multiverse of Quinn. Christ averted, yes. It is. It, it's him. Just then, the door swings open, and a man struts in with his DJing equipment. Wait, you're not the usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan knew exactly when to play the Cupid Shuffle. Hey, hey, hey. Spin Master Quinn! <laughs> Hey, hey, Morgan Freeman is calming. He is God Master Quinn. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> I am not Evan. Evan sold all his DJ equipment and to backpack through Europe, so I'm filling in for him. Such a soothing voice. Look at this man. The Riz. Look at him. He's back. I do envy him, though. What do we give to drop everything and start over? Ha <laughs> ha! Are you... All right? All right. I'm better than all right. I'm DJ Spinmaster Quinn. He sighs heavily. The scout shorts are doing something. No. I usually do trivia nights, but I moonlight on the on the ones and twos to give myself a sense of purpose in life. Ooh. 
Is he... Okay. Well, you'll have to do. You'll have a playlist of fun songs that youth will like that won't inspire impure thoughts or tempt them to the dark side, right? Uh, this is giving the one time me and, when I was in eighth grade and me and Grace were hanging out in the gym and because we had indoor recess and I was sitting on her lap because that's what friends do and our <laughs> freaking teacher comes by and they just go... Okay, so I know I'm not going di to like discriminate you guys, and I love the LGBTs, but you have to stay off the lap, and you got to stay six feet. And I'm just looking at her like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just sitting on my friend's lap. Is that bad? <laughs> oh, pain. Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yes. Except no, because Nicki sucks. <laughs> We can have we can have a cover of Nicki Minaj's Anaconda. The DJ thinks for a moment. We don't like lesbians in the House of God. <laughs> it wasn't even the House of God. It was the shitty gymnasium at our school. <laughs> Believe me, buddy. I got what you need. Okay, great. I'll let you get set up. Keep your fingers to yourself. No, I was holding her hand. We were hanging out. <laughs> the DJ leaves. Let's keep an eye on this one. He sounded like he was just going to play Creep by Radiohead on repeat. And that's a bad idea? I don't think so. Hmm. After some time, kids from the community start filling into the dance hall. Some of them seem to notice our sign hack, but they don't seem to care. It's almost like... Yeah... Most of the kids group off into tiny clusters, standing in circles and casting sideways glances at the other groups of teens. Man, I do not miss being a teenager at social functions. It's kind of ironic because I feel like Bible camps are where a lot of people had their gay awakening. Exactly! Exactly! Is it, uh, you're there with this, like, you know, like... You're there with, like, the people of the same, like, gender at the time and everything. And it's just, like, sometimes you just have questions and everything. and But then it's worse because you just get preached about how, you know, Sky Daddy hates you. And it's like, that's incorrect, but okay. <laughs> hey, hey, party people. Everyone in the room turns their attention to the DJ. DJ Spinmaster Quinn's coming at you with the sound that people want. We're off to a good start. This next tune goes out to all the ladies in the audience. Ladies, let me hear you say yeah. A few half-hearted yeahs echo through the crowd. All right. He sighs again. Oh, yeah. Man, it's been a heavy couple days. No time to trauma dump Quinn. Therapy is a good thing. The next one's actually just for my wife, Sandra. I hope we can work things out. My little honeysuckle vine. <coughs> I just puked slightly at my little honeysuckle vine. There are so many other things you can say. There are so many other things you can say. Why? Why did he say that? Grace, why? Why did he say that? Oh, Grace, I can't hear you if you're talking. No, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Love you too. The DJ begins playing Creep by Radiohead. Of uh, yes. Uh, Amanda slides up next to me. Pizza in one hand and punch in the other. Creep, huh? Bull choice for a youth group. Let's see where he goes with this. After the song finishes, he plays Creep again. Is the DJ crying? <laughs> no. If you watch the kids closely, you can catch them cringe every time Tom York swears. Mm. There they go. Maybe we should do something about this. Oh. Joseph runs up to us. Yeah. He's killing the vibe. They're listening to swears. Sad swears. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, the sad swears. <laughs> we have to do something. You guys should try to give him a pep talk. Maybe work him up to everybody hurts by our, by Rem, or at the very least, no rain by Blind Melon. You want to help us cheer him up? Uh, actually, I just saw my friend. Uh, Fred. Frederick Frederico. Frederico? He's from Latin. I didn't know you were talking You're to a... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were taking a Latin class. Hmm. I'm not. Hmm. So he's from the country Latin? Joseph. Yes, it exists. Don't Google it. <laughs> you can go, Amanda. It's fine. And she's gone. Joseph and I make our way to the DJ booth, where Spin Master Quinn is having a quiet cry. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, my dudes. How's the party jamming? It's, uh... I mean, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's, uh... Not? No rain is about depression, oh my lord. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. Just taking a moment to find my groove. <laughs> Gotta play the sad tunes to properly appreciate the bangers, right? I yep. need... Yeah, yeah. Eh. Uh, sorry, that's not how DJing works. Shut up and play the hits. Play the booty bumpers. It's what Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> Which one, Grace? Um, that's a great question. Can you read off the options? Ah, that's not how DJing works. Shut up and play the hits. Play the booty bumpers. It's what Jesus would have wanted. Um, let's go with that's not how DJing works. Oh god, do we have to be an asshole this run to people? I don't think it's being an asshole. I think it's just kind of like telling them. You know. Ah, I think he's just sad and what and wants everyone to feel his feels. Yeah. Yeah, which is not the appropriate vibe for yeah. a party for children. Yeah, exactly. Have him play Eye of the Tiger to have all the students feel like they're in a Rocky Bilboa movie. Yeah. <laughs> or, or white person's favorite, Don't Stop Believing. I have that on my playlist. <laughs> it's of course it's you such do. a good song, I can't help it. It's a good song. Can help it. It's a good song. Now, now stop me if I'm out of line here since I've never been to DJ and don't have any current plans to become one. But I don't think that's how it works. The kids came out here to have a good time. You gotta cool it on the sadness. Hey, buddy. If it's problems you're having with... Joseph leans in close to me. What was his wife's name again? Uh, Sandra. If you're having problems yeah. with Sandra... I can help you too. I do counseling. It's my job here, and I'm very good at it. Ooh. Buddy, uh, I'm gonna be real with you. If you say you're a counselor and you can't fix your own marriage, <laughs> uh, I don't think he well, should. Well, it's because Mary's a lesbian and Joseph is gay, and they have mul too many kids together. Understood then. Okay. Understood. Sweet Caroline will make all the church kids go wild. Exactly! Okay, that song also makes me go wild, yeah. so I can't blame them. Yeah! Oh, I don't know. I can tell that you're hurting. Nobody voluntarily listens to that much Radiohead on repeat unless they're going through some tough times. Trust me, I know. Joseph <laughs> listens to Radiohead? Obviously. Alright! It's the white people's hits, LMAO. I feel called mm. out. <laughs> you should. Joseph. I hear the. Ooh, cracker! <laughs> in the background. Oh my god. No! Joseph places a hand on Spin Master Quinn's shoulder, who immediately collapses into Joseph's embrace, crying quietly. There, there, bud. It's gonna be okay. Mmm. He reminds me too much of our school's counselor. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I'll I'll put on some dance hall anthems. Mm. You're the best, Spin Master Quinn. With yet another crisis averted, Joseph and I return to the dance floor, where Amanda's waiting with an ice cream cone. <laughs> they have ice cream here! Good work, Amanda. How's it looking out there? Well, for a dance... There's not a whole lot of dancing. 
Looks like people are starting to bail, though. This is a disaster. Don't be so hard on yourself. This ice cream? Top notch. Sorry for dragging you into this, Levi. You and Amanda should just go home. I'm not gonna make you stay here for the train wreck. It's not a disaster. We can still fix this. We can... I suddenly realize what we have to do. No, please. Amanda, get out here. Or, get out of here. I don't think you're gonna want to be here for this. Or be seen with me after this. Oh god. <laughs> you're not going to. I throw my car keys to Amanda. I'll get a ride back with Joseph. Just remember me as I am right now. Not as what I'm about to become. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, all you need is a banger. Exactly! Aww. Amanda nods. Nice knowing you, Pops. She runs out the door. Joseph, I'm gonna turn it up on the dance floor. With luck, we can get these youths into it as well. Are you in or out? Joseph yeah. stares. <laughs> Joseph stares at me. He knows what has to be done as much as I do. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Joseph and I walk out onto the dance floor in the middle of the roof. In the room, the youths all stare at us, unsure of what we're doing. <coughs> Time to get our groove on. Let's start them off easy and work our way up to the more technical stuff. Us. Uh, no. <laughs> He's gonna become Skrillex. <laughs> no. <coughs> um, Grace, we have options. Yep. Uh, start with the lawnmower. Roll the dice. The worm. Uh, let's start with the lawnmower. Okay. Raven, we will go with the worm soon. Uh, Alright. Let's rip start this baby. I start lawn mowing the dance floor. <laughs> Joseph seems to respond to that and decides to mow another patch of grass on the dance floor. Yes, worm soon. <laughs> That's the stuff. I look around. Well, it looks like it got everyone's attention. All right, Levi, let's turn up the heat. Uh, shopping cart. Oh, no, we didn't get to do the worm. Oh, shoot. Sad. It's okay. I thought Levi was going to start You're DJing. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You know what I just realized I forgot to do? Hmm. Share my screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raven. <laughs> uh, shopping cart, sprinkler, or the running man. I think it... Oh. I don't think it... Ma oh, does it matter? Yeah, running man all the way, my guy. <laughs> okay. Since time and memorable, this move has never let me down. I start jogging in place, matching the movements with my arms, pushing out. This seems to awaken something in Joseph, who feels the fire or, or the running man or the running man deep within him. I look around <laughs> to the youths. They're getting into it. Keep it up. I think Get they're it. <laughs> Keep it up. I think they're coming around. Cabbage patch. Yes. The windmill and the hammer slide. Cabbage patch, for sure. <laughs> You never can go wrong with the cabbage patch. Joseph follows my lead. We will take our arms and move them around in a circle. As I can assume you would do in a cabbage patch. I look around to the youths. I think they like agriculture. I think it's... <laughs> God, no. I think it's working. If we pull the right moves, the kids will join us in no time. Moonwalk. Butter churn. Attempt twerking. Moonwalk. Okay. Imagining this in my head and it does not look cool. It doesn't. <laughs> no. I it's so freaking cringy. <laughs> I start sliding my feet backwards. I can't tell if this looks good or not, but I think these kids have never seen enough people doing moonwalk that they understand the general concept. <laughs> Joseph makes a moonwalk attempt as well. Surprisingly, the dude pulls it off flawlessly. I look around to the youths. They're cheering. All right, time for the big finish. Attempt an unrehearsed backflip. Lift Joseph up dirty dancing style or death drop. Death drop. Okay. Sky Dad gave me an ass for a reason, so I'm twerking. Understandable. <laughs> I'm a death drop. All right. I've seen enough internet videos of this move where I really think I could nail it. On the beat drop, I kick my leg up and dramatically fall to the, to the floor. 
my back landing on the ground with a shablam. Slay, hunty, slay. <laughs> All the kids immediately start screaming. They know what's up. But at what cost? <laughs> I will feel this for weeks to come. My chiropractor's gonna be pissed. <laughs> I love that that happened. <laughs> we got into some kids be real or TikTok, and that's all that matters. Both. He totally watches <laughs> Drag Race. Kids. His favorite is Katya. Yes. Yes. What was that? The future of dance. <laughs> These kids are going to remember this night for the rest of their lives. Impressionable preteens hit the dance floor with an almost alarming level of enthusiasm. I'm deafened by the combined volume of their cheers. <laughs> the kids swarm the dance floor. They're all laughing and dancing to the music. Looks like our job here is done. Somewhat obli- Uh, obligingly? Mm -hmm. Somewhat obligingly, the kids take the dance floor and start to- Oh, so he fucking snatched Joseph's wig, goddamn. <laughs> oh my god. And starts to move around. Before long, they're starting to laugh and enjoy themselves. It was dicey. But we've done our jobs. Come on. The rest of the chaperones will take it from here. What? I have something to show you. Mom! <laughs> Come get me, I'm scared! We are in the dark! Mm -hmm. I am afraid. No thank you, no thank you. Not the broom <laughs> closet, seven seconds of heaven! Not the web had seven seconds of heaven with your favorite characters all split up into different chapters. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it. Joseph leads me down the main room and down various darkened corridors of the church. I can barely see anything and find myself tripping over my own feet. Joseph, I think I lost you. His hand finds mine in the darkness. I'm right here. I'm glad he can't see me blush. We keep walking. Where? This is the scariest YN ever. It is! <laughs> Where are we? This church is huge. We're almost there. I actually have to admit that I was a little dishonest with you. I didn't just invite you out here to help me chaperone. What happened to lying being one of the ten things you're not supposed to do? I think there's an exception for when you're trying to surprise a friend. Oh my god. I don't like this. Joseph! <laughs> Joseph closes the door behind us. I guess we're in a random room. You can't say that in the dark. You can't! Fucking, ugh. Ugh. I guess we're, I guess we're in a random room in the depths of this church now. What could he possibly have planned? So, last time we talked about escaping to an island where we could live out an easy tropical lifestyle where our only worry is trying to find that lost shaker of salt. Since we can't actually do that, I figured I could bring a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. It's not quite Mardi Gras-ville. Mardi Gras- Fuck it! Margaritaville! God damn! Why am- Why am I like this? Why do I continuously forget? He spiked the Kool-Aid and killed us. This is hell. Arnar. But something like it. Joseph throws on the lights. Oh. Oh, there's a church. There's a cross. <laughs> Welcome to the Margarita Zone. I look around as my eyes adjust to the light. It's his office, but no, danger, danger. No, we're in his office. No, <laughs> no, please. I look. I look around. Er, ah, I look around as my eyes adjust to the light. It's his office, but. There are twinkling lights strung across the walls, little garlands of fake flowers, and two beach chairs set up in front of the desk. There's a blender and two glasses sitting on the table. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Joseph, this is... This is amazing. There's no pop-tops to step on here, buddy. You did this for me? Joseph takes the seat and gestures for me to do the same. You did this for us. I think we've both earned it. I settle in while Joseph pours us both margaritas. He really went all out. He's gonna drink and drive. I'm not a fan of that. 
I don't like that. You really went all out. Yes. I have a flair for the dramatics. And you can't leave the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. We're walking home. We are walking home. I take a sip of mine. This is a killer margarita. I would follow this man. No. Do you think the dance is going to go okay without our sick dance moves? Huh. No. Not here. You're missing the point of Margarita Zone. Hmm. Margarita Zone is a place of rest and relaxation. It's a place where you... Yeah. No, we've lost Levi. No! Levi, come back to us. Please. Come back. Come back. It's a place where you can kick your feet up and forget about your worries for a while. Uh, Grace, we have uh, we have choices. Mm -hmm. Watch out for uh, blow- Huh? Oh, I'm just thinking. Okay. Watch out for blown out flip-flops. Let's get tattoos of Mexican cuties. It's heaven on earth with an onion slice. Let's watch out for some flip-flops. Yeah. It's a real fear. Thankfully, no heels will get cut. It will get cut in my vi in my in my version of Margarita Zone. Ripley, if I have fun in Ice Road Truckers Heaven, exactly. We have lost him. We have lost a good soldier. The Margarita Zone has taken him. Joseph gestures to the makeshift islands bars he's made. You know, it's funny. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before you started preaching? It's uninteresting. I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. What? Kind of trouble. Trouble meant I got to go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitchhiked around the country, went on adventures with all kinds of people. Did some stuff I'm not too proud of. His gay awakening stint. Yeah. But I was young and in love, and I didn't have to answer to anybody. And now, I host fundraiser, car washes, and take the kids to soccer practice on the weekends. Sorry, I don't mean to get heavy here. It's okay. It seems like you spend a lot of time taking care of others. Not enough time taking care of yourself. If you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Joseph stares deeply into the blender filled with ice and margarita mix. This is just dark, but what if he just sticks his hand into the blender? That's the... <laughs> That's just... Ye. You just see, he, he, he has that look that he would do it. Crunch. No! <laughs> it's just... I think about Margaritaville a lot. Or I guess the concept of it. A place where I could strum on my stick strings while I wait for the shrimp to broil. Drink margaritas all the time. Forget my worries. It's an easy life. I had Margaritaville once. But I think the closest I'm ever going to get back to it is Margarita's own. Short and occasional reprieve from daily life. Is that such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. Oh. It doesn't last forever. That's the rub. When you're in Margarita's own, it's not like your problems have really gone away. You're just choosing to ignore them. Okay, hey man. Ugh. <laughs> We don't- we don't need to be thinking of that right now! We're in Margarita Zone! Maybe you're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe Margarita Zone is actually better than Margaritaville. Because Margaritaville itself is an impossible ideal. Remember what Spin Master Quinn said? Sometimes you have to play the sad tunes to appreciate the bangers? If stepping on a pop top is your biggest concern, how could you possibly appreciate the boiling shrimp? Hmm. <coughs> Shit, okay, that's a good analogy, goddamn. Hmm. Margarita Zone isn't landlocked to this office. I think it's about finding the little pieces of Margarita Zone throughout your day and taking joy in those moments. Hmm. It's awfully optimistic of you. It doesn't have to be anything big. For me, I think it's being able to quietly do word jumbles and drink some strong coffee in the morning. To see my daughter smile or... Smile at Joseph. No! <laughs> Spend some quality time with a good friend. Yes, that's it. We are friends. Nothing more, nothing else. We are just friends. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. No! No! 
No, I'm not going to be a home wrecker. You're going to be the home wrecker. I am not going to be the home wrecker. You are not making me in. <laughs> no, Levi. He he has spiked the margaritas. He has spiked them with something else that is not alcohol. I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. Is it just me, or is he leaning closer too? Joseph tenses up. He downs the rest of his margarita and hops out of his chair. We've been roofied. No. But it did. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's getting late. We should head back. Sure. I do not consent. Back the fuck off. Satan! Leave! Six feet! Six feet! Joseph and I make sure the dance wraps up without incident before he takes me back to the cul-de-sac. He drove! We got in the car! He's being an irresponsible parent and friend. He's driving when he has had alcohol in his system. You walk. <laughs> Aryan ass bitch, leave me alone. Blonde hair, blue eyes, fuck off. I hop out of Joseph's car before he pulls into his own driveway. Thanks again for the help. Thanks again for Margarita Zone. Maybe we'll go back there one day. If we do... It'll be my own damn fault. <laughs> Joseph chuckles and drives away. I walk into my living room to find Amanda curled up under a blanket and groaning on the couch. Oh, baby girl, no, did you get sick? Hey, Panda. You feeling okay? Dad, I have a tummy ache. Eat too much youth group food. I drank too deeply from the well of life and now I pay the price. And by well of life, I mean that big lukewarm punch bowl of seltzer juice and sherbet. Amanda slides to the floor with an elongated groan. Eat anything, kiddo? A time machine that goes back approximately two hours in the past so that I can warn myself of the folly of excess. We've all been roofy. <laughs> I'll pour you a glass of water. Love you, pops. How'd the dance go? Oh, I crushed it. Got the kids on the dance floor at the expense of my dignity. A fair trade. Also, everything hurts. I'll see you in the yeah. morning, kiddo. <laughs> Jesus came, but only in the punch bowl. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's bad. It's the secret sauce. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a specialty. Yes. <laughs> Night, Dad. And with that, we have completed date two. Holy shit. Whoa! Did we fail? No. Wait, I'm confused. Why? I think that's my magnum opus. It is, Raven. We got <laughs> such a low score here, but we managed to score an S? I think... I don't know. I think because he's, like, a youth pastor, it's, like, hard to flirt with him, you know? But low scores still get you there. I guess. He's easily pleased. I mean, yeah, you kind of have to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he wears a pink polo shirt every day. He can't be that hard to get along with. Exactly. It's been a long day, and yet I'm caught not quite ready to sleep. Usually when I feel this way, I mainline investigate TV until I pass out. But tonight I feel like it would just make me antsy. I decided to take a relaxing stroll. After a bit of wandering, I find myself passing by Jim and Kim's. Being of legal drinking age and sound judgment, I decided to, st I decided to stop in. Typically, I try to limit my consumption of alcohol to set positive examples for Amanda, but I also feel a responsibility to play a role as a social agent in our community, and a watering hole such as Jim and Kim's is the perfect place to do it. Plain Akinator, give me a character. Uh... I'm trying to think. Uh, to Professor Quigley from Leapfrog. No. Yes! No. Bordicus. Oh! <laughs> Bordicus? Bordicus. 
from Lazy Town? <gasps> oh my god, Sporticus. Mm -hmm. I thought you said mm -hmm. Bordicus, and I'm like, who the fuck is Bordicus? Man, your guess is as good as mine. Homie. <laughs> <sighs> I, have you ever heard the sound of a rubber ball breaking a window? Uh-uh, would you like to? <laughs> Abort a kids. <gasps> that too. Yeah. Okay. Um. Nah. You, you, do sport a kiss. Do sport a kiss. Typically, I want to see if I can get it. He probably. I mean, sport a kiss. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> hmm, I'm sorry, but I know none. I know nothing of these characters. Oh well. You can no, you, not you, he can still do Sporticus. Yeah, you can just ask us. We'll let you know. Yeah. Um, but a few things. It's a fictional character. Um, he wears blue. He's tall. Um, he got a mustache. Played by an actor, of course. Yes. Um, he's in a children's TV show. He's not animated. Yeah, yeah. That, that's all the usual questions that I can think of right now that the Akatar will ask. Yes. And yes, my childhood. Also, I, desper I desperately need a beer. And yes, he sings. <laughs> yes. Jim and Kim's is lively tonight. The patrons are milling about and, every ne and even Neil seems to be having a good time. Coming here was a good idea. Oh, from Lazy Town? Yeah, him! Yeah. It's stuck in my head now. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I reached to collect my beer. Er, I can't see it. I know him. <gasps> yes. As I reach to collect my beer, I see Mary at the end of the bar. She's not semi-ironically throwing herself all over anyone. In fact, she's alone. She looks so sad. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary, no. A pang of guilt shoots through me. Does she know? Is this because of me? Am I a homewrecker? Can we be with Mary instead? I like to have Canon Levi as either Bi or Pan. So, yeah, we can be. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, do we say hi or keep watching the game? Uh, I these interactions don't really matter for the storyline with Joseph, so you can do whatever you want. We're going to say hi. Mm -hmm. I decide I decide to go say hello. I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. The seat taken. She still doesn't look up. I take a seat anyways as she finally notices me. You. Oh, okay. god damn. This was maybe not the best idea. Uh, hey. Having fun with your new best friend, Joseph? Uh, he's a great... I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you two. M Mary, I'm not... I never accuse you of anything uncouth, Levi. You're just having an innocent, very platonic time with my husband. A supportive friendship. Mary, please. Mary, please. I'm so sorry. You don't understand. I don't want this as much as you do. You're a good friend, aren't you? Uh, yep. Just a friend. Sure. I'm there where, when he needs me, Mary. I think I think I like I'm there when he needs me. It's the very much like the novel way to say it. Yeah. Unlike some other people in his life. <gasps> no! That's not what I wanted. No, That's no, back, wanted. back, 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 back. <laughs> We're fixing this. No. no. Retcon. 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 We are retconning this. This did not happen. Oh my god, that's scare that's no. No. We're gonna go say hi. We are the other woman. No! <laughs> um, yep, just a friend, or sure. Yep, just a friend. That's funny. Joseph usually likes his friends to at least have a spine. Oh. What? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> do we have to do it again? <laughs> no. I th okay. No, I think this is just how Mary is. We can't all be as blunt as you are, Mary. So you're an expert on my marriage now? Oh, we are going back! <laughs> no, she's gonna be like this no matter what, Jen. Okay. 
It doesn't take... No, we... Oh, God. We have options. It doesn't take an expert to see that you two are miserable. I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage, or I'm sorry. Oh, God. I don't even know. I'd rather her make fun of us than we be mean to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh it's I don't want to to say this. I don't want to say the top one. I don't want to say that they're miserable. Um, I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage or I'm sorry. I think I'm sorry is better. No, because no. she just made fun of us for not having a spine. Okay. I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage seems correct. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be there for my friend, okay? Oh, you're there for him. I see how you look at him. I bet you're there for him a lot. I don't know how to feel. I was doing Sporadicus and Akinator guest your future husband, so... <laughs> the answer is yes. Sporadicus! <laughs> we love him. She takes a long sip of her drink. This was a mistake. You know, you're really not his type. I'm surprised. He's dead, though. No! I... Yeah, he passed away a few years ago. No! I'm upset. Mary pays her tab and strides right out of Jim and Kim's without looking back. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Do we have two hearts? Oh, God, we have two hearts. Well, his character will still love on. Yes, it will. And with that, on that unfortunate note... <laughs> God, the girl is throwing hands. And you know what? Completely understandable. I understand. Trust me, Mary. I don't want this as much as you do. Nobody wants this. We would rather be with literally anyone else. Namely, Hugo. Namely, Hugo. We home wreck it. We're not trying to home wreck. Why would we want him when Damien and Hugo and Matt and Craig are right there? there. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that when Robert and Brian are right there? Literally, we have so many other options. We have so many better options. Exactly! We have quantity and quality. Exactly. We don't need Joseph. We don't need Daddy didn't hold me enough as a child, Joseph! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't see anything about his passing. Oh. So many sing single options. Exactly. Wait, no, wasn't it the the antagonist that passed away? It wasn't oh, Sporadicus? Sporadicus? Or Sporticus? Sporticus. Not sp <laughs> Sporadicus. Not Sporadicus now. <laughs> but, um, I I honestly don't know. I thought it was Sporticus, but it might have been the villain. I think it I think it was the villain. Big set. But anyways, that is all the time that we have for today. As we have made Mary very much upset, uh, unfortunately. We did not mean to do that. Um, oh yeah, shit, wrong one. That's okay, that's okay. Um, that, yeah, no, um, I am, <laughs> I feel like, like, Mary, Mary, love it, lovely. Mary, we want to be with you. Over Joseph. Mm -hmm. We would rather be with you. <laughs> Sporticus was played by Magnus Schwein. Fine looking dude. Hell yeah. Very true. Yes. We would rather be with Mary than we would be with Joseph. But that is... We don't have an option for Mary. And that's really upsetting. But anyways. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Grace, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. No problem. Had a lot of fun. Tune in on Thursday for some more Minecraft with me, Sam, and Haley. And then tune in on Saturday for some more Pokemon. We'll be we'll be potentially looking at some other things that I know we have to do in that game. I think I have mentioned. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will see you guys next time. Bye! Adios.